There are no big problems. There are just a lot of little problems. Henry Ford Hello guys. Welcome to the new section, Mastering Modules. At the beginning of this section, we'll see how to install and use third-party modules from Puppet Forge. We'll use Import Forge modules and explore the standard library. Finally, working through a complete example, you'll learn how to develop your own Puppet module from scratch. Without further ado, let's move on to the first video of the section, using Puppet Forge modules. In this video, we will see what Puppet Forge is and use the R10K module management tool. Although you could write your own manifest for everything you want to manage, you can save yourself a lot of time and effort by using public Puppet modules wherever possible. A module in Puppet is a self-contained unit of shareable, reusable code usually designed to manage one particular service or piece of software, such as the Apache web server. The Puppet Forge is a public repository of Puppet modules, many of them officially supported and maintained by Puppet, and all of which you can download and use. You can browse the Forge at this URL. One of the advantages of using a well-established tool like Puppet is that there are a large number of mature public modules available which cover the most common software you're likely to need. For example, here is a small selection of the things you can manage with public modules from Puppet Forge. You must be wondering how to find the module you need. The best choice is a Puppet supported module, if one is available. Here is the link where you can find all the supported modules. These are officially supported and maintained by Puppet. Supported modules are indicated by a yellow supported flag in search results. The next best option is a Puppet approved module, which can be found at this URL. While not officially supported, these modules are recommended by Puppet and have been checked to make sure they follow best practices. Approved modules are indicated by a green approved flag in search results. Having chosen the module you want, it's time to add it to your Puppet infrastructure. Let's see using the R10K tool. The R10K tool is a much better approach to module management, which eliminates the problems caused by downloading Puppet Forge modules directly and effectively forking the module repo. Instead of downloading the modules directly and adding them to codebase, R10K installs your required modules on each Puppet managed node using a special text file called a Puppet file. R10K will manage the contents of your modules based entirely on the Puppet file metadata. The module code is never checked into codebase, but always downloaded from the Puppet Forge when requested. So you can stay up to date with the latest releases if you want, or pin each module to a specified version which you know works with your manifest. R10K is the de facto standard module manager for Puppet deployments, and we'll be using it to manage modules throughout the rest of this course. We'll use R10K to install the Puppet Labs STD lib module. The Puppet file in the example repo contains a list of all the modules we'll use in this course. Here it is. We'll look more closely at the syntax in a moment. For now, run these commands to clear out your modules directory, if there's anything in it. Make sure you have backed up anything here you want to keep and run this command to have R10K process the example Puppet file here and install requested modules. R10K downloads all the modules listed in the Puppet file into the modules directory. All modules in this directory will be automatically loaded by Puppet and available for use in your manifest. To test that the STD lib module is correctly installed, run this command. The upcase function, which converts its string argument to uppercase, is part of the std lib module. If this doesn't work, then std lib has not been properly installed. As in previous examples, we're using the environment pbg switch to tell the puppet to look for code, modules, and data in this directory. The example puppet file begins with this. 
The forge statement specifies the repository where modules should be retrieved from. There follows a group of lines beginning with mod. The mod statement specifies the name of the module that is Puppet Lab's STD lib and the specific version of the module to install which is 4.17.1. Let's see how to manage dependencies with Generate Puppet file. R10K does not automatically manage dependencies between modules. For example, the Puppet Lab's Apache module depends on having both Puppet Lab's STD lib and Puppet Lab's Concat installed. R10K will not automatically install these for you unless you specify them, so you also need to include them in your Puppet file. However, you can use the Generate Puppet file to find out what dependencies you need so that you can add them to your Puppet file. Run this command to install the Generate Puppet file gem. And run this command to generate the Puppet file for a list of specified modules. List all the modules you need on the command line, separated by spaces. This command will generate a list of updated versions and dependencies for an existing Puppet file. This is an extremely useful tool, both for finding dependencies you need to specify in your Puppet file and for keeping your Puppet file up to date with the latest versions of all the modules you use. This was all about the Forge modules.